Okay, we genuinely just turned up here. Jack's come out and said, hold on a second, I'm gonna close this sh shutter. So as I see this, is genuinely yeah. the first time with the first reaction to seeing the car. I think you're gonna be shocked, genuinely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, a, it's a full blown transformation. The car looks unreal. Um, it looks so good, I've ended up buying the same wheels. <laughs> like, it looks so good, so yeah. <laughs> sure. Fantastic, mate. Well, I'm excited, it? so yeah. Let's roll it up and see Let's it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it looks a different car. I mean, the last time we left here, like the bumper was off and everything. Every, so as, yes. a, as, as a change, it's huge. No, it's carnage. So we spoke about a few of the details. Yep. I've done a bit of film. We ended up getting these bits wrapped. So I had a guy Brilliant. come down and he's wrapped them just nice. to think it looks a it bit It works more. better, doesn't it? Yeah, wrapped. it works a little yeah, bit better than just, yeah. It looks so good. The CSL lights as well make such a difference. The CSL lights, for anyone watching this, that's not actually a, a headlight swap, it is a module change. It's just a tiny little module, yeah. There's two two in each uh, headlight um, for each DRL. Yeah. But it's, it's a relatively straightforward swap. We do, we do quite a few of them. Nathan's got them on his M4 as well. I've just done them on the M2 as well. But yeah. they look evil, you know. It's it does. quite a sinister looking car. It really is. It um, transforms it hugely. And also, I mean, so ride height? We put lowering springs on the front for you. We said about doing that, but yes. we, we did. Because once Sorted you put the right wheels out. on, it was just a bit too high. Sure. Springs Which is odd, well. isn't it? Because from stock, the rear profile's Fine. pretty much spot on, yeah, but yeah. the front, for some reason, has a, quite a large gap. So that's just yeah. balanced it out Well, you can perfectly. see the rear is, the fitment's perfect. It's on spot on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, like And that's, that. that's stock. So that's a totally stock fit. It's totally stock. Yeah. Stock spring. Yeah. See, that's a proper ride height. I'm not yeah. sure why they had such a large the gap on. The front is, yeah. It's the front almost looked like it got the axle Yeah, lift axle up, lift, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, odd one. You obviously see the side skirts and diffuser. Yes. But now they've got the exhaust tips as well, because they've got the Miltec system. So I'll yeah. pull the car forward. Yeah. Well done, mate. The kit is <laughs> fantastic. It's good, Top it? work. Well done. It's very, it's very, very cool. Obviously, we've been talking about it and we've looked at photos and we've seen other Adro kits, but I've not seen one on a touring yet. No, this is the world's first. It's the world's first Adro on a touring. Yes. Really yeah. suits it. Yeah. It's just sort of like muscled it out. It's, isn't uh, it? Where the car is so long, uh -huh. adding that extra bit of lymph on the front, it you know it doesn't it doesn't do yeah. anything to detract. It just adds to the profile of the car yeah. massively. Right. So. Let's let's look at the back and let's Yeah, let me pull the car forward. Yeah, you can hear it. I'm genuinely pumped for this. It looks mega. Yeah. It's got a, like enough of a mean edge to it but it still retained a bit of the sort of sophistication of it. Yeah, I think the gray helps. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's not too wild, keeps is it? it like subtle. Yeah. We, with the tips, because of the size of this diffuser, they're not designed for this, so we had to make some adaptions to maybe to get the tips to sort of okay. just stick out at a nice profile. Right. Because otherwise they would have been sucked oh, in, really? essentially. Okay. Yeah. So we had to make a couple of changes there. And also, the tips that are supplied by Miltec, they're actually 150 mil. Okay. Um, and they don't fit within this diffuser, so we've had to go down a diff, uh, tip size. We wanted to keep it classy. Weirdly, um, the brake calipers are standing out now. Yeah. You know, I can like see they're very more hidden. of the brakes. Yeah, they're very hidden behind the original wheels. Yeah. In the previous episode, if you haven't tuned in, there's a link below to this journey starting. We hadn't had a single stone chip on this car. The only impact we'd had was directly on the front camera. I mean, like bullseye cracked so the guys at auto id have managed to source one and uh, swap yeah. it out which, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. which is brilliant thank you yeah no worries very very cool so when we came here first time we parked the stock front end next to um auto id's modded front end and it just made it look so normal right so this is this will be stock sound basically yeah. now and then i'll do the full shebang basically okay cool give you a bit of a hint on what it sounds like stock sound. Oh, uh, those valves. There it is. <laughs> it's just enough, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, I think it, again, actually, the sound of the exhaust is in keeping with the, the upgrades on the car. So not, it's not wild, it's just so we, Enough. there is a next, so in development, Miltec have got um, what is going to essentially be like a sensor resonator delete. 
which okay. will open it up even further and it will be louder but yeah. that is something you can do if you want to go that far sure. but i think for the car what it yeah, is like it's a family wagon i mean exactly, for you guys yeah. it's a camera car so and like you know doing longer journeys after a while you know could get a bit tired. take it from me with that other car outside <laughs> <laughs> after a while you're like yeah i could do with a valve now yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so honestly i know i know i say this like a lot but the camera just doesn't do it justice the extra sculpture that it's yeah, added yeah. to it blow away we spoke about potentially putting some space on it, but I know that you wanted to keep mm -hmm. it within, you know, Donnery Curb and Wheel, so we've sure. left it as is Yeah. Um, for that very reason. And actually, even without spaces, it's not... The front's... It doesn't look out perfect. of place, it looks fine. Yeah, the front's actually perfect. If yes. you look kind of like the tyre... Isn't it? Yeah. Is, you'd maybe put a three mil spacer mm. on it. So in comparison with uh, stock uh, front end, it's slightly longer, Yeah, right? so it's, I think it's 30 mil longer. So it's about that much longer. It looks yeah. longer than that though. Yes. Because of the angles. It's got a nice extra s sort of slope on it, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Just slightly recontouring those grills as well. Just balances it out a bit more. Yeah. Doesn't have the sort it's of It's annoying that we've not got kidneys. something to compare it to because obviously Nathan is... <laughs> Everything around here is yeah. upgraded. It's all up, it's all that drone now, yeah. <laughs> when we came here day one, I was thinking we might paint this car afterwards, but now I've seen it. It looks good. It kind of works. Yeah. It really, really works. Yeah. Uh, I think if we were to paint it something, I don't think I'd go too bright either. Now no. seeing it. No, no. I keep, keep it so it's in keeping with the wheels and the... Yes. Because the interior is kind of the fancy part. I'm really impressed, mate. Really, really impressed. It's a great job. Obviously, I couldn't not take the car out for a quick drive to get a feel of the new setup. Just a subtle suspension tweak and a new exhaust can transform a car, let alone new styling and wheels. The first impressions are awesome, but I'm really looking forward to living with the car and sharing more insights after some proper miles. I was thinking with it having springs on it would be a stiffer front end, but it's no. it, it absorbs bumps yeah, like, yeah. perfectly. Uh, and ride height seems fine too. Yeah. You know. Clear so. clearance is fine. Yeah. Like you, you've not really lost too much. Clearance is great. Exhaust for me, it's actually just right. Okay, like it's, good, I mean, yeah. maybe for someone looking for that like up to 11 exhaust experience, it's, it's not that stage, but because yeah. it's going to get used and putting miles on it, there's no drone, no. you know, and when you switch be between valves are open, it's it. there, but it's yeah, not yeah. nuts, right? It's really spot on. It's a performance estate, you know, it's not a yeah. sports supercar. You don't, that's it doesn't it. need to. <laughs> yeah. You've got cars that can be that loud if you want them to be. This sure. isn't that car, is it? So. The only problem is you can't see how good it looks when you're driving it. That is true. <laughs> that is so true. And when you're behind the wheel, you don't really realize you're like, what? how stunning it is. Yeah, looks. So but just... to walk over to it, I just think that what Adro have achieved with it, there's enough aggression in the front to look different enough. Yeah. But it's almost OEM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still looks as though BMW could have made it. Yes. Like a special edition BMW is kind of what it That's looks it. like. Yeah, yeah. Um, Very one cool. One of the additions, obviously, you've noticed there's not a number plate on the front. Yeah. We've actually done the magnet plates on there. So Brilliant. it's all magnetic. Okay. And it, I think it's in the back of the car, I'll show you. So on the back, Look looks like you've just got some black pads, but <laughs> they'll, uh, they actually line up perfectly, so. Come on, it. Don't know why I'm so I impressed by that. It's, <laughs> it's a magnet. It's but, really satisfying. But... Yeah. Why hasn't this been done sooner? It's so, look at that. <laughs> it's so good. It's, it's nuts. It so is nuts. You have to have the bumper off to do it like this nice. So we've aligned, obviously, all the magnets behind the grill align uh -huh. perfectly with the number plate. So it aligns perfectly every time you've not just you haven't got to think about it we use them on all our cars especially Literal for shooting no so i like driving with like sure no plate but equally it's against yeah. the law so yeah it makes it a lot just, easier just to snap on and off and we, we do it on the rear of the cars as well yeah. because obviously yeah. most bootlids are still of course yeah so you, we can swap out the auto swap id plates out. with the registration plates that is really helpful and i guess when you're going to shows and things and you want to swap out plates yeah it makes it brilliant. a lot easier yeah and you've not got 3m tape or yeah on and off exactly all the time. yeah yeah brilliant well mate i'm really impressed we're going to put some miles on it now and then um yeah we'll probably yeah enjoy it mate. catch it up soon yeah mate. enjoy Thanks it a lot, mate. Yeah, no, i really appreciate it down.